my dear brothers and sisters, today I bring forth a message heavy with concern, for I witness a pervasive force blinding many from the beauty of God's eternal truth, the alluring deception of materialism. As we march forward in this spiritual battle, let us acknowledge the dangers that threaten the very fabric of our noble goals. The adversaries we face in this age may take different forms, yet their impact poses substantial threats to the mission entrusted to us. Among the foremost dangers that besiege our endeavors is the encroaching shadow of complacency and apathy. The distractions of this world, its allurements and comforts, have the potential to dull our fervor, diverting our focus from the divine mission. Therefore, let us remain vigilant, guarding against complacency by nurturing a spirit of relentless dedication to our cause. Materialism's subtle whisper lure countless souls away from the path of righteousness, obscuring the profound richness of a life devoted to God's kingdom. Material possessions, though tangible and momentarily satisfying, bear a subtle weight and influence that stealthily draws hearts away from the divine embrace. The insatiable quest for more, the relentless pursuit of wealth, and the unquenchable thirst for possessions will subtly morph into the shackles of idolatry, a counterfeit God vying for our devotion. Let us recognize materialism for what it is, a form of spiritual darkness masquerading as a path to fulfillment while ensnaring the soul in a cycle of insatiable desire. It glorifies self-indulgence, promotes selfish ambition, and fosters a culture that esteems possessions over compassion and personal gain over sacrificial love. The insidiousness of this deception lies not merely in the accumulation of goods, but in its power to obscure our vision of what truly matters. It blinds us to the needs of others, numbs our hearts to the cries of the downtrodden, and diverts our focus from the eternal truths of God's kingdom. For the church, materialism poses a grave danger, weakening the core values of our faith community. It diverts our focus from serving others, fostering unity, and sharing in mutual love and support. The pursuit of material gain is fracturing the unity of the body of believers, disrupting the harmony that should define us. Understand that the pursuit of earthly treasures, when elevated above the pursuit of God's righteousness and reconciliation, corrodes the very fabric of our spiritual journey. It breeds discontentment, fosters division, and eclipses the profound joy found in a life steeped in faith, humility, and service. The wisdom found in scripture speaks truth to the dangers of this seductive force. The love of money, it cautions, is the root of all kinds of evil leading many astray from the path of righteousness. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Therefore, my beloved, let us guard our hearts against this subtle adversary. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. For in this pursuit lies the essence of true fulfillment. May we shift our focus from the temporal to the eternal, from the earthly treasures to the treasures of love, grace, and compassion. Let our lives embody the virtues of generosity, contentment, and sacrificial love. Let us renounce the empty promises of materialism, choosing instead the freedom found in a life devoted to God and His transformative love. 
May our collective commitment be to build treasures in heaven, investing in faith, love, and compassion, rather than amassing fleeting treasures here on earth. Let us rekindle the flame of our devotion to God, recognizing that true fulfillment lies not in material possessions, but in the eternal embrace of our Heavenly Father. What do we do? Pastors, churches, listen up. We will cultivate gratitude. Foster a heart of gratitude, acknowledging God's provision and blessings. Shifting focus from material possessions to appreciating the gifts already received. Prioritize spiritual growth. Emphasize personal spiritual development through prayer, meditation, and studying scriptures. Nurturing a deeper connection with God that transcends material desires. Practice generosity. Engage in acts of selfless giving. Sharing resources with those in need. Recognizing the joy and fulfillment found in giving rather than accumulating. Live simply. Embrace a lifestyle that values simplicity and contentment. Resisting the allure of excessive consumption and embracing moderation in all things. Encourage community support. Foster a culture of mutual support and care within the community, demonstrating the importance of relationships over material wealth. Focus on eternal values. Redirect attention towards eternal values such as love, kindness, and compassion. Recognizing their lasting significance beyond material possessions. Seek accountability. Form support groups or accountability partnerships within the community to encourage responsible stewardship of resources and combat materialistic tendencies. Practice detachment. Learn to detach from the obsession with material possessions. Recognizing that true fulfillment comes from a deeper spiritual connection rather than worldly acquisitions. Teach and embrace contentment. Encourage contentment and satisfaction with what one has. Nurturing a spirit of contentment that counters the constant pursuit of more. Promote service and sacrifice. Advocate for a lifestyle centered on service and sacrificial living, demonstrating the transformative power of serving others above self-seeking desires. These strategies, if embraced collectively within the community, will help combat materialism and redirect focus towards spiritual richness and eternal values. Please share this video, like this video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook if you are not subscribed or following yet. That way you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you for your time. I am the Prophet Sam. God bless you all. Chins up. Be the light.